Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. I think we're on episode 4 now, so... Uh, last episode we started working on telling them to chop down some of these trees and start building the wall. And I sent out a uh, person to hopefully get some stone blocks, uh, limestone block wall, or limestone blocks. They should be there almost uh, to the location. They're a couple meters away, I guess. But um, it's currently winter, and it looks like we have research available. I'm not sure what we can unlock. Not a whole lot, so I'm just going to wait until they uh, finish with that. And let's see here. It looks like those fish are still hanging around, although I think that there's quite a few of them now. I'm not seeing a whole bunch like there used to be, so I think they're just... Um... Oh, no, there's still a few. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference not fishing them or fishing them or whatever, but I'm just going to let them do their thing for a season, like, you know, a couple seasons and stuff like that. Because uh, during the fall, um, I, I basically put this river in, so it's nice to actually see some sort of fish actually spawning. But it wasn't spawning at the beginning, so I'm just kind of hoping that it will run its, like, cycle and hopefully start producing a lot more fish and stuff like that but um yeah outside of that um they got the mining done unfortunately so i don't know where anything else is at the moment um it could be anywhere around here for limestone there's some limestone there coal so it's mostly just kind of like a guessing game at this point because you could end up mining it see there's iron there and i don't want the iron at the moment dirt i don't know <laughs> we'll just we'll try to get what we can out of the areas and then we'll um start working on that we do have a lot of clay though so we can always use bricks i guess for the wall if we have to and maybe focus in on the stone blocks and stuff for the actual builds that might be a way that we can go about doing it but I don't know. Uh, we'll come up with something. Uh, we do have quite a bit of uh, bricks already made. I think there is some over here. Yeah, we have quite a few of them. We got 53 there, 170, 200, uh, 83. So we could start building.
Alright guys, so I did get some stone bricks. We were able to, um, or limestone bricks, uh, which we did purchase from the uh, thing there. And uh, I didn't sell all our goods. I think what we'll do is we'll go back and travel to the um, other settlement that we're pretty close with. Uh, we are 58% with them, but um, do they actually have a negative impact on... Um, who are they enemies with? Okay, they're pretty neutral across the board for the most part, so... As long as we keep pretty good allies with them, I think it will be a pretty good time. Um, as far as... You know, what we what we did pick up, I'm not sure how many... Uh, how far that those stone blocks will go, so I also purchased some limestone from them. And I know that we have some limestone around here somewhere. Um, pretty good amount of it, but I know it won't actually last that long when we're making stone stone bricks out of it. So what I'm going to try to do is preserve that as best as I can for pathways and stuff. Um, that way we can, you know, expand our paths and stuff like that. Now another idea that I had, um, which might require some redesigning a little bit, um, is to turn this area into our farmland. I'm not sure if that's going to work with barns and stuff there, but uh, we could do like canal type things going through here because this is all on the same level, right? So we could do like a canal type thing and have our farms between them and little pathways going over, um, like small pathways and stuff like that. That would be an option. Um, came up with that idea while I was, you know, Playing another game and I'm like oh yeah that would actually be a kind of a cool idea to have so we could try that um, it won't be like a huge deal to mine out a little bit of this and um, as long as we keep a path going from here around to all these other parts that we're setting up we should be fine and we could bring the path maybe rather than this direction we could maybe go through here and then line up with the rest of the build something like that and we're going to need to if we're going to be moving the um what do you call it the um great hall we're going to need a place to actually move some people to so i was thinking maybe we could put them over behind here uh we'll mine out that
All right, so we got um, our pathways uh, planned out. Um, I'm looking at the wrong side of the map. <laughs> so I got a br the bridge over here that goes and connects up to this part. I've tried to add little um, spaces between the um, actual wall and the um, pathway just for better aesthetics than some grass and stuff can grow there. I think that'll look a lot better than just having it directly up against the path itself. Or, pardon me, the wall. So, and then there's this path that goes directly down this direction to the bridge that we're going to be eventually filling in. Um, the more that I dig at it, the more that I realize that the the node that for this clay is, like, extremely huge. Like, I, I started looking down there, and there's still clay down there. So, we'll be, like, three levels down before we even finish... Mining all that out, and it looks like it might even be okay. That's dirt, so yeah, it's just it's just a really deep thing. So I told them to start building like staircases and stuff like that, so we can get down to another level. Um, our dogs and stuff can keep coming up and down, but um, it's definitely gonna take a while to do. And then there's these um, parts right here, which I have to figure out how to remove without actually disturbing the structure integrity so uh those are like in key pit places so i didn't want to like mine those out right away but we still need to go underneath them and it gets a little bit more complicated from there so it's like i don't know i think i'll leave them for now and then when we start um filling in the thing i'll probably mine them out and work around them i think that's the best idea to do and yeah, it's just, just a matter of mining all this clay out, but the good news is we'll have tons of clay and we'll be able to replace our wall with uh, bricks, so that'll be perfect, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with all the uh, excess clay, but I mean, it's still something, so. Um, yeah, it's still winter. We're on day six and our caravan is coming back. It's not too far away. Um, and then we'll be able to start working on the... Um, library a little bit more i'm not sure how much we're going to be able to get done but um i'll save the barley and stuff um a little bit longer and then we can use that as trading and if we don't have enough stone bricks to do that then we can always send out another caravan to a different settlement and hopefully they'll have stone bricks or i keep saying stone bricks but i really mean limestone bricks it's I don't know why they... All right, guys, so we got quite a bit of stuff planned out today. We got uh, tons of stone bricks uh, back here, so I, I don't know where they stored them. I think they're over here. 
So we got uh, 274. There was a merchant that came in here. Uh, that he's still here. I sold him a sheep and some um, more linen cloth. And because he didn't have enough storage capacity to take the rest of the linen cloth. So he he was carrying some stone bricks as, or limestone block, brick uh, piles as well. So I was able to um, purchase a little bit more from him. We should have enough to finish this construction project, at least the first floor. And then we can start working on the second. By then, we can probably put in a, um, what do you call it, like the needed parts for getting the first floor set up. And then we can work on the second floor whenever we have time and stuff like that. I think that would be the best approach and just kind of get that first floor set up first and then we can kind of fill in the parts up here uh, for the time being and then it could just be like a library on the first floor and then we can slowly add to it as we progress. So that's the idea at least and um, outside of that we got uh, our cows back. None of them died as far as I know um wherever they are there there they are um but yeah we got all our resources and stuff back uh, and i've been just puttering around just making sure everything's going well for that we still need i did put down a pen marker but they haven't built it yet because they have so many other construction things that they need to do so um it'll probably be a while before we get um the sheep or goats or whatever into that one but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out